the first problem which i am going to take is there are three persons a b and c and they are walking around a circular park and the time taken by the persons to complete one round of the circular park is given that is 10 minutes 24 minutes and 30 minutes respectively now if they start together with a common starting point after how much time will they meet again at the starting point now see first of all we have to identify whether this question is based on the concept of lcm or based on the concept of hcf many pro many students are facing problem in this also so little bit of understanding of what lcm is and what hcf is will enable you to easily interpret that this question is based on finding lcm now see the maximum time taken is 30 minutes to complete one round so obviously when the three persons meet again the time has to be greater than 30 it cannot be less than 30 because in less than 30 minutes time person c will not complete even one round so he cannot meet at the starting point again so the answer will be more than 30 minutes so whenever the answer is more than the given numbers then the question is belongs to the category of lcm similarly when we do the problems based on hcf i'll tell you how we can identify very easily that the statement problem is based on finding hcf so here we need to find the lcm of 10 24 and 30 now that lcm will give us the final answer of our problem now here you see for finding lcm just observe these three numbers 10 is a factor of 30 it divides 30 exactly so we do not need to consider 10 whenever there is a number which divides the other number exactly then just strike off that number we do not want to consider that number for finding the lcm now 24 and 30 are left behind you can very easily interpret that they come in the table of 6 so in the final answer we have 6 as one of the factors and what is left behind 6 4 the 24 and 6 5 the 30 now again whatever is left behind has 5 now this is a prime number whenever there is a prime number then our problem is simplified that prime number comes in the answer automatically and what is left behind is 4 so we need to write this 4 also so 6 by the 30 and into 420 minutes is our final answer so the three persons will meet again at the starting point after 120 minutes same question when applied to five persons say now i have the times given as 4 minutes 8 minutes 10 12 and 16 minutes so the persons will meet again at the starting point in time equivalent to the lcm of these five numbers now but just observe these five numbers 4 is a factor of 16 or 4 is a factor of 8 also so 4 gets cancelled 8 is a factor of 16 8 to the 16 so 8 get cancelled now we have just three numbers 10 12 and 16 so our answer will have 2 as one of the factors why because these three numbers are divisible by 2 so what is left behind 2 5 are 10 2 6 are 12 and 2 8 are 16 now see we have a prime number this 5 is a prime number so 5 comes automatically in the answer so now what we are left behind is 6 and 8 now 8 is not divisible by 6 so just take the multiples of 8 what is the multi next multiple of 8 16 16 is not divisible by 6 go further 24 now you observe 6 divides 24 exactly 
So the LCM of these two numbers is 24. So just, just take 24 here. So 5 to the 10 and 24 is 240 minutes is your required answer. So just by inspection and little understanding of what LCM is, you can exactly find the correct answer without use of traditional method of finding LCM. Likewise, suppose we have another question in which there are files containing sheets of papers. File A contains 32 sheets, file B contains 40 sheets and file C contains 48 sheets. Now we need to find the least number of sheets required to make files without any sheet left over. Now again, least number of sheets required to find make files. We have to make a number of files, file A's, file B's and file C's from the given number of sheets. So that given number of sheets has to be larger than 32, 40 and 48. So again we need to find the LCM of these three numbers. So the solution for finding the LCM of 32, 40 and 48. Now again, see these three numbers 32, 40 and 48. What is the highest number by which all three numbers are divisible? If you observe closely, 8 for the 32, 8 5 the 40, 8 6 the 48. So 8 is one of the factors. So in the answer, I will have 8 as one of the factors. And what is left behind is 8 4 the 32, 8 5 the 40 and 8 6 the 48. Now, this is prime number. So prime number will come in the answer. And 4 and 6, 4 does not divide 6. So count the multiples of 6, 12. Now 4 divides 12. So 12 will come in the answer. So 8 times of 40 into 12 is 480 sheets is your required answer of this question. Yeah. So observe that little bit of you know understanding of these numbers and the, the divisibility rules and understanding of prime number being a factor of the LCM is required to answer this question orally. Now come to say we have four bells. Now they are ringing at intervals at a particular intervals. So the first bell is ringing at an interval of six seconds, second seven seconds, third 8 seconds and fourth 12 seconds. Now if they start ringing together after what time they ring simultaneously again. Now ring simultaneously again. Now again the question is of finding the LCM. Now we need to find the LCM of 6, 7, 8 and 12. Now observe here that 6 divides 12 exactly. So we need, uh, need not consider this number 6. So we are left behind with 7, 8 and 12. Our answer will have 7 as one of the factors because this is a prime number. So what we are left behind is 8 and 12. 8 does not divide 12. So count the, count the multiples of 12. 12 to the 24. Now 8 divides 24 exactly. So this 24 will come here. So our final answer is 168 seconds or you can write this as 2 minutes 48 seconds so you see LCM of 2 or more numbers can be found out by using this amazing shortcut uh, through which method of observation or inspection is utilized for finding the LCM so the first problem which I am going to take up today is to find the greatest number which divides two given numbers leaving a particular remainder in each case. This remainder can be same or different. So the concept here is to find the greatest number which divides. So obviously when we have to find a number which divides two given numbers then the number has to be smaller than the numbers obviously only then it will divide these numbers. So when the number to be found out is smaller then we find the highest common factor that is HCF. So that clears the doubt 
whether we have to find the LCM or the HCF. So here we have to find the HCF. Now there is a remainder 4 in each case. So the first thing is to get rid of that remainder. So from the given numbers we will subtract that remainder and we will obtain two new numbers which when divided by that greatest number will not leave any remainder now because we have already subtracted the remainder. So even if the remainder is different you have to subtract that different remainder from the numbers to obtain a new set of numbers. Now your answer will be the LCF of 144 and 96. This answer can be found out orally by taking the difference of these two obtained numbers. So 144 minus 96 is 48. Now just observe that this 48 divides 96 because 48 to the 96 and 48 also divides 144, 48 3 is 144. So if this difference divides these two numbers exactly then your answer is this difference itself. So the LCF of 144 and 96 is 48. There can be a situation when this difference may not divide one of the given numbers or both. In that case you will have to factorize this 48 and deal with each and every factor independently to find out the HCF. We shall see that in our subsequent examples. In the second example, I have taken three weights. Say, first weight is 36 kg, second is 45 kg and third is 72 kg. And I need to find a single weight which can measure these three weights. Now, for measuring a large quantity, we need to have a weight, single weight, so that weight will be smaller than these three numbers. So our answer is actually the HCF of 36, 45 and 70. Now use this concept of difference here also, but here we have three numbers. So we have three differences. Say when we subtract 45 and 36, we get 9. When we subtract 72 and 45, we get 27. And when we subtract 72 and 36, we get 36. Now out of these three differences, we need to consider only the minimum difference. Now just check the minimum difference is 9 here. So our answer is either 9 or a factor of 9. Now check whether 9 divides 36. So 9 fourths are 36. 9 divides 45, 9 fives are 45, 9 divides 72, 9 eight are 72. So our answer is actually 9 kgs. Since 9 divides all the three numbers exactly, so HCF of these three numbers is the same minimum difference. Likewise, when you solve the same problem with different weights, now see we have 42 kg, 70 kg and 112 kg. So here the difference between 70 and 42 is 28, 112 and 70 is 42 and 112 and 42 is 70. Now see the minimum difference here between these three numbers is actually 28. Now once we have found out the minimum difference, you need to check whether this 28 divides the three numbers. Now see it does not divide 42, 70 and 112, one of them also, then this has to be broken down into factors. Now let us break down 28 as 7 into 2 into 2. Now keep on checking one by one, if you check 7, 7, 6 are 42. 7 tens are 70 and 7 1 the 7 7 6 the 42. So 7 divides all the three numbers. So we will retain this 7 in our answer. Now check 2. 2 divides 6 3 times. 2 divides 10 5 times. 2 divides 16 8 times. So in 2 divides 
all the three three numbers so we retain two also now the remaining two obviously two does not divide three so this two cancels out so our answer is 7 into 2 14 kg which is a single weight required to measure all these three weights similar to this i have one more question say we have three different fruits say 75 guavas 18 apples and 225 bananas now we want to make heaps of these fruits and the heaps should contain equal number of fruits of each type so what is the maximum number of fruits in one heap so obviously the maximum number of fruits in one heap will be less than the total number of fruits so we have to find the hcf of the three numbers 75 180 and 225 here also just check the minimum difference say 180 minus 75 225 minus 180 and 225 minus 75 now if you check here we have the difference of 105 here we have the difference of 45 and here the difference is much larger say 150 so the minimum difference is 45 now check 45 does not divide 75 so we have to break it down into factors so factors of 45 are 5 3 and 3 Now check with five. Five fifteen times seventy five. Five thirty six times one eighty, and five forty five times two twenty five. So it divides all three. So we will retain five in the answer. Next check with three. Three five are fifteen. Three twelve are thirty six. 315 times 45 so we retain 3 also now check with this 3 3 does not divide 5 so this is cancelled so our hcf is 5 into 3 15 which is the required answer so you see little bit of understanding of highest common factor what hcf is and you can come out successfully finding the hcf of two or three numbers just by inspecting the numbers and lcm and hcf problems are very very important for competitive exams so you need to practice them using these very exciting shortcuts so keep learning and keep sharing the videos if you like it